One person is dead after an industrial fire and hundreds of explosions north of Detroit sent fireballs and shrapnel into neighborhoods as far as a mile away. The fire raged for hours Monday night, launching nitrous oxide and butane canisters into the air. During a news conference Tuesday morning, the Clinton Township fire chief said that a 19-year-old was fatally struck by a projectile from the explosion while he was a quarter mile down the road. Oh, just a tremendous amount of fire. I, in my 25 years, I've been on a, a few big fires. This by far was the biggest one that I've ever seen. Police reported that the fire occurred at a building shared by Goo and Select distributors. These businesses list smoke shop products such as nitrous oxide, CBD, and electronic vapes. We did find out that it was this company um, called Goo. They're a distributor to the uh, vaping community um, in the area. They had a, literally received a truckload of butane um, within the past week, and they still had over half of that left. So this is what you're seeing strewn throughout the area. All the uh, canisters, um, you know, which you had nitrous, you had butane, and then they had some other uh, products in there. Due to the storage of combustible materials, authorities are asking for assistance from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives in the investigation. Four people were inside the building when the fire started, but they managed to escape without injuries. Emergency management have sent hazmat units to test air quality. It's still not clear what caused the fire.